Alrighty, well, before you guys enjoy this minty production of my old fur getting beat down, I've got a quick message here for you. As you guys may know, LubeTube really does not like my swearing. They've uh, made that apparent about 500 times, and uh, I really don't think they like like my sense of humor either. And you know, that's uh, that's for them to say. And uh, you know, you got to uh, you got to play with the hand you were dealt. You know, and I understand that. I can be a bit abrasive at sometimes. The old oil patch mentality mixed with the internet, mixed with everybody. I, I can get how they. Uh, uh, they would want to keep my sense of humor and my language away from some people. I, I, I agree that uh, that is a, uh, a bite off the turd sandwich that I don't really want to have to take, but it, uh, I got to eat the whole dang thing anyway. So, as a lot of you fellers may know, I do have two versions of these videos. I got the videos that go on the lube tube normally, and uh, you guys are able to watch them. There's no swearing, there's no bad humor, it's all just a good time. Everybody's able to enjoy it. There's still all the cold starts, there's still all the red line, there's still all kinds of stuff. There's just none of my foul language, and there's none of my uh, terrible jokes that uh, only the oil patch fellers and uh, people in my cloth would think would be funny. And then, on the other side of that coin, we got the Patreon videos. Well, those are the ones that I haven't uh, degreased. It's all the, all the uh, language and all the jokes that you can handle. Um, but that's on the Patreon, and those are for the Patreons only, because, uh, you know, like, LubeTube's trying to keep uh, the young ears safe, and, and I can understand that. I'm just trying to uh, piss with the packer I was provided. Alrighty, so enough of me yakking and carrying on. Here is Cheechin' Through the Snow. Willard, you're stunned. Well, welcome back to the land of dump sleds and nearly deads. Speed of dump sleds. If you guys listen, you can hear the neighbor just ripping it up on the old dump sled that was parked right there. He got her running, tossed a couple beers back, and now he's out taking her for a rip. What a treat. Well, anyhow, I figured I'd uh, dig out the old nipple truck. I called the old eye insurance company, and I guess uh, I guess I've had this thing insured the whole time it's been sitting here. I didn't even know that. I've been driving it anyway, but kind of nice to know it has insurance on it. <laughs> but the thing about it is, is uh, I need a truck. What for uh, pulling my uh, my gooseneck trailer over there? And uh, I was using the old uh, Crommins, but every time I use the Crommins, I got to pull the vise off the back and the crane off the back and just fiddle around all day long with that thing. It, it, it drives a guy to drinking. So instead of doing that, I figured I'd get the old nipple truck back on the road. I mean, look at her. She's just ready to go. Now this old pile of fur is usually pretty mint for firing up. It's got one Series 31 in it and one regular battery in it. And this thing, it usually just uh, barks right up, fires up, you don't even need any Cosby sauce. Uh, usually, I mean, I like spraying Cosby sauce and stuff. The old Albertan snow paint. Wash the paint. Uh, oh man, I get the beer sweats already. It's gonna be one of those days, but well, we got a lot of snow and we got a whole shitload of cold. It's been about minus 40 for like the last two weeks on and off. And today it's about, well, and the sun is actually really nice, but it's only about minus 20 communist measurements. So what the hell is that in freedom units? All right, so it's about minus four or minus five in freedom units. So it's pretty it's pretty warm out here, isn't it, Willard? Her... <sighs> How's that snow taste? You don't care if it's yellow, do you? Probably likes it more. All right, did I leave the batteries hooked up? All right, let's see. Yeah, the batteries are they're completely dead, but they're not hooked up. That's a good thing. Look at this mint dump sled. I gotta, gotta get this thing going. Willard, are you stunned? Am I stunned for asking? <clears throat> oh yeah, the old mail is just frosty. She looks like she's still kind of cold from the minus 40 we had, but the batteries are unhooked. I'm not, I'm not going to get a wrench. That. We're just gonna hook it up with the old Leatherman. All right, it says POS on this battery, which I don't think that means point of service. It probably means piece of shit. Willard, Willard. Are you stunned? 
That's a stupid question. Man, he's stunned. So it's got one frozen regular battery, one frozen POS. Let's just see if there's any crankage at all. Oh yeah. So this old girl, she usually doesn't need any Cosby sauce at all. Usually she just fires right off. So we're gonna run the glow plugs like 7,485 times and see if she's gonna cheat. Alrighty, batteries are hooked up. Let's go give her some cranking. Oh yeah, she's sli she's cold out. <sighs> Let's see, wait to start. It usually cranks a while because I think there's like an O-ring gone or something, but I mean, that's fine. Let's see what happens. Two cycles. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, she's not having it. Oh, the wrench is sticking to my fingers. Oh, 14 mil, that's pretty much a 9 16 I'm gonna tighten the batteries up a little more. All right, well, we might as well try it from out here. I see smoke, well, that's good. Let's see what happens. Uh, I'm gonna go grab the booster pack. Dump batteries. Let's hook this minty prick up that I got off Amazon. Man, my buddy Dallas over at uh, Single Drive, he uh, he got one of these things and he got me sold on it. He said he rarely ever charges his. It works minty as f So I figured I had to buy one. And let me tell you, this thing was a good investment. Like a real good investment. No, I ain't sponsored by him. Let's see what happens meow. This thing's usually pretty f oil. If it doesn't fire right up though, it's definitely getting Cosby sauce. Isn't that right? Let's try it again. Let's see. Oh, it's getting sauce. Turn the key on. It might backfire into our face because the glow plug, well, into my face. I guess I got a mouse in my pocket, but it might backfire a little bit in my face, but that's fine. That's what you want to have happen. I got this new Harvest King. Seems pretty mint. Let's see. Get a whip of that stuff. There she goes. Oh, the sauce. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're going to blow it up with ether. How dare you? I'm going to kill that starter, though. But I mean, uh, probably got a couple spares. Come on! It's got a nice snipe on this thing. Uh, oh, the chooch is real back there. How dare you! I'll just keep spraying it. Oh, let's try it again. See, if it's going through the air cleaner, it's giving it a real nice distribution as it goes into the intake. Let's see what happens. more for good measure oh maybe not good measure I don't, why did it die <laughs> oh a little ether knock there Oh, she's just not happy about living right now. I wonder if she's gelled off a little bit. I'm gonna guess she's gelled off a little bit. But we're just gonna make up, man. We almost killed a whole can already. The whole can. This is Bill Cosby. Now that everybody has told you about the dangers of doing drugs, I'd like to tell you about some of the benefits. Uh. Is it gonna stay running? Sounds good. How's the chooch? Oh, the chooch is real. Oh yeah. No, that doesn't hurt. How dare you? Listen to her, yeah. 
Yeah, I just blew it up. The ether killed it. That's it. Right off. I love that, Chooch. You gonna stand in that. Oh, you just can't beat that smell. Oh, yeah. You got the ether and the diesel half burnt. What a treat. This one for you, old girl. What a treat. Well, we're gonna let this thing warm up for about four or five days. All right, well, she's been running for at least five seconds now. Let's see if the old uh, FPM controller is gonna work. 21 Hundy. What a treat. Oh, yeah, it's burning that diesel. Oh, yeah. Man. Alrighty, well, since that old prick was so easy to fire, I figure we got a whole lineup of just sassy old furds here. We got another power smoke. Actually, it's not a power smoke, technically. It's the 94 variety direct injection with the Huey. They get all, some guys get all piss pants when you call them a power smoke, even though they're just a power smoke. Well, she's got the Ricky Bobby tuner on it. And, uh, oh yeah, me and he in the dump. You got to put Patreons on there because I'm stunned, but this one here, it's got two good batteries in it, but I'm gonna guess they're frozen. Man, I gotta poop real bad right now, like real bad. I was gonna start this video off by saying, Welcome back to the land of cold starts and wet farts, but they're a lot more than wet. They've they've uh, they've leveled up to the point of uh, you know myself. So what we're gonna do is not do that. Well, we're gonna try not to do that. Everyone leave. I have to poop now. <laughs> ah, God, those enchiladas. Man, you know how you know you drank enough PC lights last night? Wiping requires a shower. Oh man, that was uh, that was intense. All right, well, I guess that old pile of fur's been running long enough. Let's see if we can idle her down and back her out of there, and then uh, get on to the next hot rod. What do you think the wipers are gonna do? Oh yeah, they're men. This thing runs good. Oh, we need two wheel drive. You gotta try it in two wheel, and then floor and all of it oh she's a little frozen to the ground oh you know what she does have dirt under it do we need to do a burnout ever met someone who was so extremely dumb that they don't know how stupid they actually are oh f f what did i just write off i just write something off i hope i didn't write anything off well you can wish in one hand and crap in the other and see which gets filled first let's see up the word rear. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, I forgot to plug the boot back in. For f creek. Oh, and I rode off the headlight. Ah. Idiot. Oh, idiot. Oh well, I got like 20 more. <sighs> just the sh thing is trying to find the time to replace all that stuff, you know? And tuck tape and, and then clear tape is a real nice replacement for all that stuff. <sighs> there, she's probably right back up. Those batteries are probably still good. Oh yeah. Let's see here. There she goes. She doesn't want to shift too fast. No, she doesn't want to shift a second at all. I think I blew the drive shaft. Yeah, drive shaft blowing. We're creek. My brain doesn't use enough oxygen because I don't have the whole thing filled with different stuff. Uh, you get it? A guy can't do one burn. Broke the yoke, clean off the thing. Uh, this is a struggle. Steve Ruggle. I, I think this is the uh, 
The victim of being stunned. I think, I think that just happens right now. Just rallied the pinion seal right out of her too. I needed that pinion seal. What do you guys think happened? Do you think the strap broke, which caused the uh, yoke to splinter? Or do you think the yoke just split? Because the last time I did that, I was wheeling in Slave Lake. I figured those are pretty good, but I guess not. Let's just see what happens in reverse here. And uh, you know what? I'm gonna need to put a yoke on that. But don't put a yoke on that. I risk running the f of sending the uh, pinion into the carrier, and I don't wanna have to deal with that. So we're gonna spend like five hours rooting through the snow trying to find a yoke. Stunned. So I go through the comment sections here and there, and I'm always getting, you know, hey, Peg, why do you have so many? Fords. Hey Peg, why do you have so many sea cans full of stupid shit? Hey Peg, why'd you shit pants? I mean, why would you even wear pants if you're not gonna shit the thing? Me and my mom had this discussion over uh, opening presents this Christmas. It's just, why wear pants if you're not gonna shit? What song are you gonna sing? Oh, please don't, know. don't shit pants, Uncle Jim. I would never shit my pants. Why well, even have <laughs> pants if you're not gonna shit? <laughs> <laughs> well, they're like a... Pants, you don't know well, that. I think you're like an environmentalist, but you didn't know it. It's like a mud so flap you're that you put on. Yourself, uh, toilet paper. Exactly. Save your trees, pants. <laughs> 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 anyhow, I found everything a grown boy needs in my pile of. Sh I got a I got a whole tub out there with uh, just driveline components. Oh, even. Oh, there's more. Yeah, there's a bunch more right here. I I can't make this sh up. Ford conversion jo I got it. I know what I got. I, I got everything I need on one stop shop. And uh, yeah, I'm going to make her mint again. All right. So I'm going to go out there, put the yoke in that pile of shit. Oh, maybe I'll drag the shaft. I'm going to get this thing fixed up right now. And with any luck, I think I've seen a pinion seal in the sea can. So we're going to get this thing dialed back to get it right, Chicken Louie. You know how they always say if you're going to be dumb, you got to be tough? Well, if you're going to be dumb and hard on equipment, you just got to have a bunch of around that that's how it works i mean i did have kind of a burnout going kind of those old bias plies in the back are just sassy i found those at the dump man i found five bias plies at the dump someone threw those out but i got everything i need here you know uh a lot of you guys will be saying like peg why don't you just pull it in the shop it's one of your multitude of piles of iron do it in the shop well the answer is pretty simple if you're gonna be dumb you gotta be tough I'm gonna guess, looking at the inside of that guy, that there wasn't a whole lot of uh, rollers left in said U-joint. We got everything we need. Let's see here. That should dial right on. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, as far as the pinion seal goes, I mean, I'll, I'll definitely get around to replacing that. Oh, I believe that when we ship tons purple and smells like rainbow shopping. No in and out. Little lash, golden. Oh yeah, that pinion seal, she gone. I mean, where is the rest of that yoke? I couldn't have gone that far. <laughs> Oh, there's some of it. I think the drive shaft hit right here. It's like an archeological dig. The drive shaft hit here and it fired parts out each side. So, I mean, that's fine. Guess what? This drive shaft after it blowed out, that means I'm just as stunned as you are. We're stunned together, buddy. Yeah, now get. Oh, alrighty. Well, Willard, can you please get? What are you, are you helping with the snow? Are you helping? Are you stunned? All right, so I got some good news. Well, the bad news is the black ring is Copenhagen. Good news is that the red ring is lipstick, so we're good. Keep that skull, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Willard, please. <laughs> off. Please. <laughs> no, you gotta <laughs> off. <laughs> How good does that taste? Is it good? Tell me you're stunned. <laughs> Without saying you're stunned. Oh, yeah. Professional. Willard's excited about it, aren't you, Willard? Oh, if I put one of these bolts in the dirt, we're going to be upgrading to rock tight. All right, well, let's do them up. Color mint. So there we go. All back together. Are you all right, bud? Are you stunned? Oh, yeah. What a treat. And now we got to ask ourselves did mom raise a quitter? No, no, she didn't. That hop is 
is usually when the U-joint goes. So we're doing a real nice durability test. Right out of the gate. I mean, why even have a U-joint in there if it's not good? We're finding out if it's good. We're good. What a treat. Oh yeah. All right, we'll just back this hot rod out of here and get out of the next cold start. Alrighty, so I was gonna go ahead. Oh yeah, it's, uh, it's like 3.30 in the afternoon. The sun's headed for the horizon. It's gonna be dark right quick, but uh, I was gonna do a cold start on the two IDIs. Cause I mean, who the f doesn't like IDI cold starts, but then I thought about ditch bagging this thing with 38 and a half inch TSLs on it. And that definitely, uh, that definitely sounds like a good time. And it's almost beer o'clock. So, wow, I mean, what time isn't beer o'clock? But it's almost beer o'clock. And I think some dish bagging will be a good time in this old bird. But uh, I gotta get rid of the avalanche. It's uh, frolicked onto the hood here. And then uh, we'll fire it up. What are get up there and do it? You gonna help out? No? Let me ask you, how stunned are you? All of it? Yeah, oh. So what's your guys' wager? Are the batteries in this thing Or are they mint? I'm gonna guess they're This occurred to me that that was a revive and drive, that was a revive and drive, and this was a revive and mud bomb. And look at they have a nice relaxing retirement here at Old Peg's place. Get me out of here! You know, they never get bagged on, never get red lined, never get ether sprayed in them. They get a pretty good life out here, isn't that right, Willard? Alrighty, well. Certain things are occurring to me while I'm shoveling this thing off. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, those old dirty old export A's. Certain things are occurring to a fella. One, I might have left the back window open. And two, this thing was bagged through a lot of water. Like a lot, a lot of water. And then just parked. There's a chance that the uh, whole front diff is frozen, the rear diff could be frozen, and a bunch of other stuff's frozen, but I mean, that's just the way she goes. Now, the battery's dead. Oh, they look like they're gonna be dead. Will you vultures please give us some privacy? He just died last night. What is going on here? It was the asbestos in here, that's what did it. it looks muddy under here. And that right with her dog. Oh, we got an open hole for ether for old Cosby sauce. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Stone cold dead well we're gonna pull the batteries out of it swap the batteries out and come back it's gonna be really easy for you guys just go ahead jump up off the couch the beer beer fridge there and have, have one for peg and then uh just don't think about the struggle that's about to happen the cripple struggle is real because you can't run you know why you can't run because you got no feet here's the bad thing you're lonely you're in the gutter and you're legless is that what you want did you guys go to the fridge and grab another beer? Oh man, I could use all of them right now. Get the feelings back on a guy's fingers. Alrighty, so I bought this stuff at PV Mart and it says it's 50% ether, 50% ether. So it must be 100% mint. That's how that works. So far, braid that comes off of it is top knot. And the, uh, yeah, I really like this stuff. It's just been good, it's been real nice. So we're gonna throw this guy on there for good measure. We're gonna throw some of this in there for good measure. Oh, what a treat. And we're gonna see if she's gonna shoot. Well, the ignition's frozen. All right, wait, the start light's on. I could use one of those cigarettes right now, actually. Oh yeah, I smoked a bunch of American darts when I was down in America, and you guys know how to smoke darts. Those are a treat. All right, well, it says the glow plugs are running, headlights are on. What do you guys figure? Just give her a little rip with no Cosby sauce. I don't, let's see, let's see if the, oh, the glow plug relay is working. It might actually be running glow. Well, we're gonna find out the hard way. Let's see if I can blast my beard right off my stupid face. Let's see here. So you see, that's called ether lock. So you're gonna want to just power right through that. A little bump here. Oh, starter's not loving it. Just give her a little brass. I'm pretty sure there's a little bit of mud in the starter. And by a little bit, I mean all of it. But why would you even have a 
starter if you're not gonna put mud in it. Oh, she's gonna go. I wonder if she's turned to Ricky Bobby mode. Oh, that starter sucks. Nah. Uh, that starter sucks for a thousand, Alex. That's the daily double. <laughs> right when she catches, starter gives out. Must have parked too close to a Dodge and got some electrical problems. How dare you? Oh, the glow plugs are still, well, they're, they're, they were running. Might take a little while to get fuel. Starter, you suck. Old shitty Dodge Charger, I remember doing that. I remember working on this old Slant 6 one time. It was always kicking out halfway to fire and up. Just, just junk, you're supposed to stay engaged. It's gonna go. Oh, she's going. She's not loving it, but she's doing it. Oh, starter still us. Wonderful. Come on, girl. What a treat! Oh, yeah, bud. What a treat. I love that old hammer they do when they're right cold. Oh, yeah, the smoke just chooching right in the back window. Bobby mode switch. There we go. High idle. Oh yeah. Not even shooting. Oh, oh, get the off of here. Get the off, man. Stay. Stay. Your racist. It, it doesn't like it. There's a wiring harness a little wet or something. Clear up. All right, well, what we're gonna do here right now, with her fast idling like so, we'll just see, old clutch pedal's a little stiff. We're just gonna see if she'll move at all. Oh, she's frozen. Oh, she broke free. Oh yeah! You wanna go ditch an old bird? Yes you do. Just watch this one start. It usually cranks a little too long, but it fires. Man, these power smokes are tough. Oh, I love these things. And this truck has seen a hard life. I'm talking hard. She was a landscaping truck before I got a hold of her. And then, uh, yeah, I remember buying this thing. $700 I bought this thing for. Not had to have been, oh, 10 years ago? You'd be owned by me for 10 years and tell me that I'm not hurt on gear. Oh, a little bit of a 
a snow pile here. The guy who plows snow around here is an idiot. Idiot! Willard, tell me I was out doing cold starts without saying I was out doing cold starts. For f creek. Well, in order not to uh, whistle and diesel the fing door right off, we gotta stow the old gin poles. Oh, yeah, it all works still. F I love this fing truck. Just loyal. Alrighty, well, now I'm gonna stand underneath my uh, old rusty welds and see if I can stow these without uh, without getting hit in the head at like 700 miles an hour by a 500 pound piece of steel. Oh yeah, so there you go. Now you just lean her over. Oh, other way, there we go. Set her down. Wait, when you want to put her back up, you just go the other way. Man, I, I remember when I designed this thing, I wasn't even that much of an alcohol. Yeah, I was. Still pretty good design. Oh yeah. Mint. You're purring like a kitten. But just how dare you the snow. Oh yeah. Heat work mint. I love these old trucks. Okay, let's just back her out here. Oh the hubs are unlocked. kicking ass to end over. I'm gonna need a hub. What I'll do with this old girl, she's welded. Yeah, it's like minus 20 out. So yeah, minus five Fahrenheit, and it's like in the middle for the heat. And all she's been doing is idling. That's probably not good. Come on, unlock. There she goes. All right, well, let's pull her in the fucking shop and let her grip dry and burn all my wood. What a sweetheart. Alrighty, well we got both of these frozen piles of shit in the shop now. I don't know where I put the chains for that thing, but I'm gonna need the because this thing is just some um, It's pretty much as useful as Justin's head. Well, I guess it is useful, it's holding in a lot of but yeah, it, 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 without chains on it, she ain't doing at all. So in, in old old Alberta, you're allowed running chains from October till April or something on the road. So we're just going to throw them on the back and we're going to leave the things on. We got to fix the headlight because uh, someone was swirling a bush latte and wrote that off. But I got some plans for this guy tomorrow. I just got to pull the uh, AC condenser out of it and get that rad clean. And then we can go do fun stuff, really fun stuff. I got a freaking muscle spasm in my back. Air brakes were shot to hell. I mean, uh, there's nothing I could do. Did he mention he was wasted out of his god mind? Alrighty. So the last time you guys seen this uh, inside the shop, there was a truck on the hoist, and uh, it needed a starter, and it needed uh, the rad washed out. Well, there's all the mud out of the rad, and this, this may or may not have happened on New Year's night. I mean, you do look like my name is Earl. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, so, my, my wife tells me that actually quite a. That's a good thing though. So New Year's Eve, you were drinking having a few beer by a brush fire, right? But you know what? All of a sudden I I hear a rumbling in the distance. I don't know if it's an earthquake or if it's the third coming of Christ or what. 
But here comes some old 7-3, mowing through bush like it's f***ing Ron Jeremy in the 80s f***ing skin flick. <laughs> oh. I think I'm hung up. I'm not, I gotta give it to you, pig. For a one-legged bass, you can slap them gears around like it's your ex-wife. Sure, it's nice to be back in a nice warm shop. It's a bit chilly outside. Things are uh, going back to normal. N normal. Being how uh, the Patreons pay for the diesel this thing burnt, the uh, bush lattes that I may have burnt, and hell, between them and the dump and D&E, they pretty much bought this truck. So you know what they get? They get a single part, did you? You know what you guys get? Two part. That's just the way she goes. That's the way she goes. That's the way she goes? That's right, that's the way she goes. Alrighty, so it's up to you fellas. Either wait till next week to enjoy part two of this video. Come on over to the Patreon, throw a few beans in the hat, and enjoy the rest of this derelict production with the rest of us mouth breeders over at Patreon. So I hope you enjoyed part one. Until next time, keep pooping out your pipes.